So here's another writer program uh, question that's from uh, a paper one idea. So in this case, we've got uh, some wages being earned by a worker. So they get either two pounds for each teddy bear they make uh, or five pounds for every hour. So it's obviously a bit of an old question. This it's uh, we're a bit below the minimum wage here, but uh, we'll go with it. So write an algorithm that allows the user to input the number of teddy bears made and the number of hours worked. So that's the first thing we're going to do anyway. Um, so let's call it uh, num bears. And we're going to do this as an input. So we'll have it as an integer input. And to bears made perhaps. And then we need to get the hours as well. So let's have num hours integer input enter hours. You don't have to spend a lot of time writing big descriptions in here. In fact, you know, in the exam, even if you didn't put anything in there, you'd, you'd still get it. But uh, we're, we're used to writing something in our input to give people an idea of what to put in. So then um, it calculates the wages for the number of bears and it calculates the wages for the number of hours worked. So we'll, we'll do that next. So uh, let's call it bear wage. And we've got the num bears. And in this case, we're, uh, every bear is two pounds. So we're timesing that by two. And let's say hours wage equals num hours. And in this case, hours is five. So that's times five. So then we need to compare. So it outputs the larger of the two results. So we need to compare that. So the comparison that we're going to use is an if statement. So we're going to say if bear wage is greater than hours wage, then it just says output, so we'll print. Um, bear wage, because that's the bigger one. And um, we don't need to worry about testing the other one. So we can just say else uh, print. And again, I'm putting the wage in there and it's hours wage. Capital w, shouldn't we? So that's it. We, we've done that. Uh, make sure we finish off our print statements with the right bracket, etc. So we've got um, variables that make some sort of sense. So we've made variables. So design mark probably for that. Um, Possibly a design mark for having the right data type using integer. We might get a programming mark for doing the correct calculation and having the correct variables here. And a mark for having an if statement, possibly a mark for having the correct um, statement for one bigger than the other, etc. So you, we don't need to test the other one because it only needs to print out one wage. So it doesn't matter if both are the same, it can just print out the second one because they're both the same. So it won't make any difference. So we don't need to test both really. We can just do this. So that's um, another programming um, exam paper style question.